I want to talk about Sally and we have made a decision we are going to So um, Sally jumped over the fence. Danny's going Danny, home. Danny, stay here. Stay away from Sally. Sally jumped over the fence last night, and um, how did you know that? Papa? She's scared enough of the fence not to go back in. But how do um, you know that? Well, because she's right there. She is just having a bad influence. If you could smell this right now, it smells like ocean. I have a 25 kilo bag of kelp right here that I'm gonna feed to the cows. And basically they're gonna have free access to it. And I hope that the new cattle will catch up and look just as beautiful as the ones I have. It's getting dark. We were gone today and just came home a a little while ago just doing my evening chores here but I wanted to talk a little bit about Sally in the last video that we made where the cows arrive and where I talked a bunch about Sally and you guys could see her behavior a lot of people commented on both sides some people were saying uh, she's a troublemaker some people were saying no she's a good leader she just acts naturally and all of that Here's the deal. If you are not interested in me talking right now, then you should probably not watch this. But you know, I think this is extremely important what I'm going to say. I think that uh, this is very important information about keeping animals. I want to talk about Sally. And we have made a decision. We are going to get rid of her. Now, don't get upset if you like her. Uh, Sally was the first star on this channel. But I, I just want to address this whole thing a little bit. So, first off, I just want to say, I don't think it matters how many years of experience you have had with cattle, you are simply not able to tell how my car cows are and what I observe and how they are in the herd from a few seconds or maximum a few minutes of YouTube video. I am with these cows daily. I spent hours with them. I see them outside of my living room window, out of my outside of my dining room window and so on. And this is the key for successful um, farming and for to be successful with your animals. You need to have a relationship with them and you are the one observing them. Now I don't you know you might say, oh I have so much experience I can just see that on a couple clips. No you can't. And so so here here is the thing. Yes, some people commented there will always be a, a leader cow if I remove Sally, another will take its place. Absolutely, I am aware of that. That is not the issue. But you don't want a bad leader cow, you want a good leader cow. And then there were also people who were mixing up two other things. The cow highest in the pecking order, in the hierarchy, in the herd, and Highland cattle, this breed has a very strong hierarchy in their um, herds. But being highest in this pecking order doesn't mean you are the leader cow for the farmer. Th those can be completely two separate things. 
Now, ideally, it's not. But you know, um, I've worked with sheep, and it's the same there. That there were sheep that were not the highest in the pecking order, but they were focused on me, and they were the leaders, and I would call them. And with the sheep, I radically, and I've more experience even with sheep than with cattle. But with the sheep, I would radically just um, call the flock and put those sheep away. Uh, there's a sheep farmer that lives um, about an hour from here. He used to have sheep on the other side of the fence. And then he wrote down the numbers from the sheep. And every day there would be different sheep on the other side of the fence, except for two or three sheep. They would always be there. And he removed those from the flock, and no more sheep went over the fence. And this just shows you, this is just one example of how bad of an influence um, animals that lead in a bad way can be. Now here's the thing with Sally. Sally is a very nervous cow. She's just nervous. They, they can be the tiniest thing. She's always the first one to jump up for nothing. Oh, look at this. Now she's running away. Okay, this has nothing to do with her um, being um, good at protecting the herd or whatsoever. No. <laughs> come on, Sally. Don't disappoint us now. Then she is shy. She doesn't come close to me and she's suspicious. She always stands there and watches every move. Huh? What is he going to do? You don't want that. You don't want that with sheep or cattle. Uh, the, the, these animals that stand in the back of the barn and observe you and don't come close to you. You do not want to have those animals. You know, I was for sure, very sure that we would slaughter her. They are going to pass this on to the to the calves or to the lambs. They're going to pass this on to even other calves and lambs. And at the key situations in your work day, they will ruin it. This makes me so frustrated right now. Are you kidding me? I'm tired of that cow, seriously. Another big thing is that I th she's just a psychopath. There she is, she's going through the fences. She's going through the fences, I heard the fence break. I'm sorry, but she has caused so much trouble. Um, you guys saw, she jumped over the fence, she just leaves. Um, Check out our channel a year ago, the drama. We have been working with cattle for a while. I've been around cattle, I've worked on dairy farms. She is mentally ill. And there's something wrong with her hormones. We had um, the farmer here who has one of the biggest highland herds in Sweden. He looked at her and he said she probably will never be able to have calves. He said that Sally might never have a calf. Um, she... Uh, she looks more like a bull if you look at her. So there's there's something really wrong with her. And I've received so many comments. This is just my observation and I see her influence. She is not the leader cow. I have other cows that focus on me more. Yes, in the video you saw, she came when I called her. And sometimes she comes, sometimes she doesn't come. But the thing is, a, the leader cow that's focused on me, she comes when I call. Now you saw them when they were running away. I called. Sally continued running. The others stayed, but then they were pulled away by Sally. Kondo, kondo kusera. Yo 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 yo. Allt är bra. Allt är bra. You know this happens a lot. So decision on Sally. We are gonna get rid of her. I'm right now trying to figure out a way to um, pregnancy test her. We are looking for a company or a veterinarian that will do ultrasounds on cows. Depending on the price, we might actually scan them all. Uh, that's very something that has been very common al already in the past 10 years with sheep. Um, that, that sheep farmers, they just um, do ultrasounds on all the sheep. They know exactly how many lambs they will have. They separate them in the group. They know when they will have their lambs and so on. Um, I will see if there's something like that for the cattle close by and if it's affordable. And then we're gonna send the bull and Sally to the butcher. We are also looking right now at getting a belted Galloway bull and we're gonna put them with these cattle. So uh, not this year, but next year we are going to have a uh, crossbreed of Highland cattle and belted Galloway. All the calves will be without horns because the belted Galloway is pulled. They don't have horns. And in this case, that gene is um, dominant. And we're really looking forward to that because also Highland cattle is quite small. 
and um, Baltic Galloway is a little bigger and if you crossbreed them the calves grow 15% faster than the Baltic Galloway and 30% faster than the Highland cattle makes even healthier and better calves plus both breeds have these good characteristics that we want with um, double fur layer, healthy uh, births, um, good health in general, moms uh, can have healthy calves um, until they're 20 years and so on. Both breeds have all these characteristics. So this is the update on Sally and you know I'm sorry but I just don't think that uh, people with a few minutes of YouTube video can make that judgment and besides that it will be our call anyway and we have given Sally more chances this is what we're gonna do so um, we will keep you guys updated um, I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye